Man, what a beautiful Sunday. I did a vlog uh, not long ago about the byproduct of entrepreneurship. One of the byproducts of entrepreneurship being uh, stress. You know, it's a lonely road. And somebody asked, well, how do you deal with stress? You know, what, what's your strategy? And that was an interesting question because, um, you know, I do have some strategy. But I, today I want to share one. One I believe that can be universally used by anyone. But everybody's different. Everybody process negative thoughts differently and, and and everyone is triggered by negative thoughts differently also so you know um it varies right but a lot of time the way it works i truly believe at least for me and most people i've talked to you know it, it's usually a, a a combination of multiple challenges and and bad news and that you know trigger that stress right and and it's just that one bad news that that, that, that tipped the, the glass and then then it flood all these negative thoughts in your brain and then the stress level start coming and you go on this panic mode and you get overwhelmed your your heart palpitation I mean I, it's 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 stress is no joke man you know and the more I read about it sometimes it can be scary but the way I try to manage it quickly is I automatically after a few seconds and that's something you have to train yourself uh, automatically I, I, I try to block it by trying to force my mind to take it somewhere else and where I take it is very simple what my business will look like when it's successful you know what is look like how many countries would I be in how many employees would I have what would be the revenue uh, of the company um, what impact would it have so on so forth you have to be as detailed as possible and you have to force your mind to take you there uh, and and i do this to to balance the negative thoughts because i i look at negative thoughts as, as the same thing you know a lot of time when you're an entrepreneur you have to create a, a barrier that only filter the positivity right because you, you get overwhelmed real good i mean real real quickly and uh and when when you start getting a lot of bad news your barrier it's like your immune system start going down so it stop filtering those stuff so you have to learn how to balance quickly because if you don't do that you know then doubt starts sinking in and get bigger and bigger and bigger and some of my 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 my, my negative thoughts are i usually the same right you know uh am i am i gonna make it is is it is it uh, uh, something I'm supposed to do? Maybe I'm not the right person for the job, right? Uh, my favorite one is uh, all these challenges is a sign. That's actually somebody told me that two years ago. A so-called uh, entrepreneur builder who never been an entrepreneur of his life. Uh, I'm not going to mention his name, but I, I'm writing my next book and I'm definitely going to put him in. But... What he said really struck me. Actually, I, <laughs> a side note, I want—I wanted to punch him so bad because I was sharing, you know, some of the, my biggest challenge in ARE was on the technical side of things, mostly on the the, the, the development of, of a part of the the embedded system. I kept, after years and years, kept, you know, hitting uh, uh, um, uh, what you call that, uh, an obstacle. Uh, and it took years, you know, it took about two, three years to overcome it. But I was sharing that story, and then he turned around and told me, maybe that's a sign that, you know, you shouldn't be working on it, you know, and, and you might not be the right person to solve it. And it pissed me off, man. It pisses me off because people think because you're an entrepreneur, it should be a straight line. But anyway, that's besides the note. So you balance uh, your thoughts process, uh, you know, and then you start taking your mind to something extremely positive, extremely specific to calm down, to relax, you know. And if it's not enough, you, you, you go on YouTube and, and watch some motivational videos, right? Something positive. And then after you calm down, you start writing down all your challenges, right? Yeah, and, and, and when you write it down, it allows your mind to become more specific to what the problem is. Because when, when, when you have negative thoughts, it just comes, it's, it's just... 
bang, 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 bang. You have no way to filter anything. But when you write it down, it allows your mind to calm down, okay? And then you start saying, okay, what are the top priorities? And then you start solving one problem at a time. There's no way when, you, when you're a young entrepreneur or a small entrepreneur with very limited resources to be able to solve all these things. Especially if you have no team or very, a small team, it's very difficult. So you have to learn how to control your thoughts. You know, that's extremely important. And that's how I do it, man. That's how I do it. And, and my philosophy is very simple, right? No matter what, I'm not going to quit. And when you have that mindset, then everything else is, is just detail. It's just a matter of dealing with it slowly but surely. But when you let those negative thoughts creep in, in your brain, and you let that go after a day or two or three days, I guarantee after two weeks you'll quit. It's just that simple.